This is Tuna on Toast. He joined uh, Rancid. They had one record out, and Rancid was already with Epitaph. And you just yeah. mentioned Bad Religion a second ago. If we can be as big as Bad Religion. What has Brett Gerwitz meant to you personally and professionally over all these years? Well, you know, one thing for sure, Brett's like our dad and he's like a father figure to me, you know, mm -hmm. and I love him so much, you know, he always includes us. He always brings us in. He makes us feel like family, you know, he invites us over for dinner and we go, you know, he's been there from the get go. He's believed in us like nobody ever has. He supported us like, you know, he's been good dad and bad dad, you know, and he, he's. What do you mean bad dad? You mean telling you how it is or doing something or like say, guys, this is not the way to go, that sort of thing? Well, I would say that maybe bad dad was the bad thing or not a great example. I'm just saying he's he's been a great father because he's disciplined us when we needed it. How about gotcha. that? That's good. Gotcha. And I don't think there's anybody else in the world that can tell us how to do our thing, you know? And, and um, we, there's just a tremendous amount of respect for him. And it's because of the way that he's treated us along the way. It's how he's kept us together, how he makes us better human beings and pushes us to make better music and pushes our abilities to the next level. No one can get a vocal take out of me like Brett Gerwitz. Out of Tim, out of Matt. No one can get a take out of Rancid like Brett Gerwitz. Brett Gerwitz, just his name being mentioned and involved brings a whole different way we need to bring it. Wow, wow. So it's, and on the personal side, because that's just the, you know, the business side or whatever you might want to call it. Maybe it, business is not the right way. The personal side, this is what I remember. Um, there was some lean times for all of us, and especially at the beginning. And Brett gave me 500 bucks because I was gonna lose my place to live. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask him for it. He found out about it and he was the first one to call. He was one of the first ones to call when my brother died. He was one of the first ones to call when my mom died. You know, so like, what do you need? Anything you need, just tell me. And I know that. I know that if I said, Brett, I need uh, uh, a Lamborghini, a pot of uh, Jello, and um, <laughs> some some gummy bears, you'd be like, okay, it's coming. You know, like I could say that shit. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, but so and and I remember when he loaned me that money. Like I did, never took that for granted. And I remember when I went to go pay him back, he didn't even know what I was fucking was talking about. Wow. And that's wow. the way I am with it. So my kids, I gotta be a lot better about it to be honest, but like, that's the way I am with my kids. They can have anything of mine within reason, right? And I'm gonna help them. He just made me feel like he was, a, he, was he cared and, and held me in a way. And I think we, can, we would all have that story. He holds us in a way that no one ever really did, you know, even our own parents to a certain degree. But maybe that's the reason why he was able to do that. And we allowed him to do that is because he wasn't this authority figure. He was, he was somebody that we looked up to and respected, but he, he treated us like his peers. Hope you enjoyed. Now hit that subscribe button. And for more Tuna on Toast, listen wherever you get your podcasts.